Um, we're going to be going uh, or, or working on today uh, getting to net. So transitioning into net with a particular focus uh, on the backhand volley. So um, getting in, we'll still do forehand volleys, but it, it's developing that backhand volley so that you've got all the options on that. So we've, we've done a little bit of work with that volley checklist. We're going to keep developing that here today. All right. So um, let's get straight into it. You've warmed up. So we're going to get straight into it here. So this is what, um, in this first row, I want you to picture. I want you to picture that you've hit me toward the backhand side and that you've come in. Okay. You're now, you're, you're, you're going to get a lower backhand volley. Okay. So the first volley we're going to work on is, is kind of holding that line and playing the volley back up here to position yourself for the next ball. Yep, but I want, you to, I want you to picture that you've approached and then you're going to come in and then you're going to get another ball after this first volley. No first shot. Yep. Yep. Good. Good. So you're really just focusing on hitting your target here. Yep. Good. Now what's one of the, um, when this ball comes in low, having, you know, having seen you on the grass the last few, few weeks, um, what was your first temptation on this lower volley? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Yep. Cool. Perfect. Yep. Good. Good first volley. Come on. Yep. Fantastic. Great volley. Do you just want to move that ball, sorry? Go again. Good. Good pick up. Come on. Yeah, good chase. That was a fantastic first volley there. Come on. Yep. Come on. Yeah, good.
the play. Hit the target on this first one. Yep. You wanted to drop shot it or you wanted to pick it up? Okay. Yep. First intention to volley first. Yep. Come on. Good hands. Good volley. Come on. Okay, so what do you what do you think about that lob? You just feel like you're overcommitted? Yep. Keep reading my racket face. Come on. Nice, nice. Yeah, good stuff. The last few here. Fantastic. Oh, good volley. Last one. Okay. That lower volley. How's it feeling? Yeah, it looks. It, it looks like it, uh, you look a lot more comfortable on it. Um, I've always thought maybe sometimes you, as soon as it gets low, you you want a drop shot, and I think it's just having those options. You know what I mean? Like thinking, maybe the drop shot isn't on, and if you can still hit your target up deep. Yep. Sure. Sure. Yeah. I like that. Uh, we're going to just expand a little bit on this orange cone out here. Um, your backhand volley, so your second volley is going to be a backhand now. You're going to try and get it on the outside of that cone. First volley, you're going to play a forehand volley cross. Okay. Now I want you to I want you to compare this and your movement and where you got it moved to um, to the first drill. So obviously you're playing the first volley up the line. You could station yourself there. Now you're actually playing from over there. Yeah. You you got to get your recovery position right. All right. And now you you should know that as you're playing that first volley. So in your mind, you know you're going cross, so you're already thinking about closing in into this spot. All right? Sorry. Let's go. Yeah, good. And you can go deep or short down there. Yep, any way you want. Nice volley. Okay, I can still go uh, cross court here. I don't have to play down the line. The second one. Yep. Yep, sorry. Let's go.
your volley. Come on. Yep. Okay, talk me through that one. Much footwork? Okay. How would you like to play it? For, like technically? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. And so what are you trying to play? Why? Because you're lower. Yeah, so I'm just more comfortable for you. Yep. Come on. Good volley. Come on. Timing's just slightly out. Yep. Yep. Sorry. Go. Hands up. Okay, what do you... Yep. So do you feel like that, that, that's a volley where there may be a little bit of uncertainty? And you're thinking, is... Yep. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe if you had to go deep, you, you had to rely perhaps maybe more on actually just hitting the target rather than having a lot of power on it. Yep. Yep. Last you. Sorry. Volley. Good volley. That looked good from up, up at shoulder height. Yeah, could be volley or maybe drive. Yep. All right, last two. Yeah, send me that one. Let's go. Good volley. Really good depth, good pace. Get up. Nice. Okay, quick sip. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to try and put together what we did in those two drills into one. Okay. Now, what's going to happen here is you're actually going to come 
in from the back. So you're actually gonna have to approach now. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit more open, so there's gonna be a little bit more decision making on your part. Okay, now I want you to think about all the potential volleys you can play, particularly on that backhand side. Yep, that's, uh, that's, what we're, that's what we're gonna focus on here. So with your approach shot, you're, you're going to tell me where you're approaching. So I'm, I'm gonna feed the ball deep, you're gonna play it back cross court. You're then going to tell me whether or not you're approaching cross court or down the line so that I can have a, a proper play on the ball. No, you're gonna hit a ground stroke first here. Yep, play it cross court, sorry. Yeah, we'll, let's play. We'll, we'll play one volley. Yep, and, and potentially two. Okay, let's go. So cross court. Come. Sorry, I thought you might have, might have stayed back on that one, but good hit. Good movement. Volley, just watch you're not dropping too much. Back hip. Yep. Come. Talk to me. Like let's say you're coming in and, and you're coming in and at some point you realise that the volley is, let's say, isn't going to be as easy as you would like. Then what? Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I really like uh, that idea of thinking, well, I don't have to just hit a clean volley winner. I, I might come in and really rely on hitting my target and then with good movement and moving to the right position, I can establish a lot of pressure on my opponent. You've got a good presence up there. You got good footwork up there. If it, it, it's it's it feels intimidating for the opponent. Okay, so I want you to really embrace that. Embrace the idea of that you can actually force your opponent into making an error. You don't have to hit all the Hollywood shots. You can actually make them play bad. All right. Okay, let's go. Deep. Come on. Let's keep the intensity up. Good ball. Good depth. Come on. 
Goodbye. Easy one. Come on. Sorry, sorry. I'm just thinking, what what determines from the back here whether or not you're playing cross court or down the line? On that approach shot. Yeah. The height of the ball. Perfect. Yep. So my position on the court, really. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, yep. Anything to do with volley position? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yep, so really, really think about those things. I love that. Good depth. Yep, good. Good. Come on. Move. So tell me what happens. Because you're putting yourself in great positions, great volleys, getting me to lob. But letting me just get it over the top and touch too easy, I reckon. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so it's just a bit of confidence. Just a bit of comp confidence still, you reckon? Okay. What about the anticipation? Okay. Okay, that's cool. You're just putting yourself in really good positions and you should want that overhead. You should look forward to it. Bye -bye. Get up! Good volley. Stay sideways. Good depth. Oh, bad luck. Thought mine was a little deep. Yeah. Perfect. That's a good answer. Yeah, because definitely, if you're playing it from that deep, trying to go cross court, you got, yeah, you no no way of getting into the net where you need to be. Yep. Sorry, Jonas. Let's go. Yep. 
Good. Lovely. Good stuff, mate. Fantastic. Woo! You read that long? Yeah, better. Better. Why not be as easy as that in a match? But I love how you've picked up on the fact that I've been doing that a bit and you've identified it. Yep. Hello. Yeah. Love it. I love you, mate. Come on! Sorry. Yep. That's one. Go again. Good depth. Good. Get up. Oh, what do you reckon there? Yep. Last one. I thought you could have made the quick decision to almost drive that. Yeah, seeing you do that before, looks good. Let's go. Good depth. Yeah, yeah. Okay, quick sip. Okay, yep. Okay, so how's it feeling? What, what would you what would you say um, is your biggest obstacles or your or your your toughest challenges um, at getting to the net? The transition part. Yeah. And then you feel like you're in trouble. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So, um, with with that in mind, do you prefer? And there's no right or wrong answer here. Do you prefer 
approaching like you were and and predetermined approach where you're coming in knowing you're going to get a volley or do you like hitting the ball seeing that they're in trouble and then coming in um, is there a preferred play or, or you kind of like both or I don't, I don't really mind I feel like um, coming in or it kind of depends who I'm playing yep. or what their strengths are okay like if they are if they can't really fly from their own top six then I'd more construct a play yep Okay, and then go. And then go. Yeah. And like, then again, if they have a weak backhand, I can just pick on it and then I'll Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, it depends on that. Dependent. I love that. That's good. That's, that's good. Good answer. Um, let's, go, let's go back. You're going to go uh, deep again from that first grand stroke. Yeah. You're then, if you get the right ball, you're going to try and spread the court. You're going to try and get a ball, maybe, to try and make me slice here. I don't have to slice, but I, but I may. Okay, you're trying to you're trying to steal that volley. So let's think of that shot there as you might not be in. You're just hitting a, hitting a ball to try and get me on the stretch. In fact, let's go that if I if I top spin this ball, you see me go to top spin. You've got to stay back and reset the pattern. If you see me slice, you've got to get that ball and it can't hit the court before you get in. You've got to try and volley. And you're going to try and um, play any particular volley you want um, to the open court. Yep. All right, let's go. Deep. Good. Come on. Oh, yeah, good try. So you, you got to really analyse what I'm doing down here as well. Yep. Good. Go deep again. Good, fantastic. Sorry, sorry. That was good because the intent was there, and then you then you realised. Yep. Good luck. Bella. I was thinking about it. Deep again. Come on. Good volley. Fantastic volley. And great closing speed, Jonas. Deep up. Lovely. If you if you feel like you're coming in, I don't want you to feel like you have to play to the open court. Let's say that if you think there's a better better option, then you take you take that option. You take what your gut says. 
Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Gotcha. Yep. For sure. Come on. Go deep again. Yep, sorry. Good. Come on. Yes. Fantastic. Good stuff, mate. Love it. Go again. Come on. Move. Yep. Thoughts on that one? And trying to volley that way. Yeah. 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 Let's go deep. Reset. Okay, sorry. Let's go. Good. Come on. Come on! Yeah. Good move. I'll see you. Reset, good. Come on, deep again, deep again. Sorry, I was probably a little kind to you with that slice. Yeah, my gate made it a little easy. Right. Last couple. On these last few, I'm actually going to try and see if I can actually get the slice to bounce before your feet. Got it? Yep, pick it up. Yep, good. Let's go. Move. Good try. Stay sideways. Yep, good. Good. Come on. 
Good stuff. Fantastic. Last one. Go deep again. Again. Volley, fantastic volley. All right, let's have a drink. I really like how you're trying to stick that backhand volley. I know we've spoken a lot of, about not having a backhand volley that can just only drop shot. It's very, gotta have the options. You know, that volley volley checklist, hitting them all. Yep, and, and so, that that coming in and sticking that backhand volley is can potentially be a real reason why people can't come to net. Because they, they're too afraid to really go and try and stick a volley, so they'll always drop shot. And a good player's gonna read that. So you have to be able to hit them all. You know, have that variety. But I think, just remember today, it's just some guidelines, but you, you've got to play on your natural instincts. Play what comes to you. I'll just give, you know, some of the stuff we, we, we've been working on is just a framework. And then you play what, what feels good for you. Okay, because whatever comes to your mind, I don't want you to overthink it. Well, cut, play the volley that comes to your mind. Yep, you got to play on your natural instincts and keep your flair, because that's been really working for you. All right. Okay, serves. Um, we're gonna we're gonna serve here, and we're gonna we're gonna try and serve Ollie. Yeah. Um, one observation and I'd be interested to hear your feedback on this, is that when you're, when you're serve volleying, or volleys in general, sorry, your reaction on the forehand volley versus the backhand volley, talk me through that. What do you think? True, definitely. The backhand volley has got a lot better. I agree. I agree. bit quicker yeah left side of the body feels more natural maybe yeah. yeah so as as you're uh as you're serving i'm going to try and top spin these returns back so they're not going to float back you, you've got to you've got to be uh reacting aware of what's coming in big time and so i want you to use a little bit of the information that you've received today um and and, and play what what you feel is good for this first volley. Bear in mind, you're going to be around the service line. So, unless that ball's sitting up, then you probably, you probably need to play back deep because you're not going to be that close to the net. Does that make sense? Yep. So, yeah, due side. So, just so we can get, so we can get this, um, is happening here. I'm going to position myself more in the centre of the court. Okay. You're going to serve uh, down the tee here. 
why may this be effective? Yep, so if I'm over here, I'm this way, yep, yep. I've got no angle. Correct, you, you, you should get a play on this volley. All right, let's go. That's all right. Come on. Yep. Yep, yep. So, yeah, that's okay. Let's, let's play a few more. Love it. All right, let's get this serve on target. Yep. Better serve. Yep. That's all right. Great serve. That's better. Good, good, good. That used to be a lot slower. Yeah, so I felt like if I if I hit a ball like that, you're you're favouring your forehand volley sometimes, and it's like you don't you, you don't want it to go to the backhand. I thought there you are equally ready for whatever. Yep. Come on. Yep, sorry. Yo, you can make that. Tony. Love it, love it, love it. I, mean, I, I can still return anywhere. Yep. Remember, I'm, play, I'm playing coach today, so the return, I, I, I'm positioning myself here so that you, you feel like there's a, 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 a decent return coming back. Yeah, I don't want you to feel like it's always going to be easy. Yep. Yeah, good serve. Let's hit the target.
Drive! Maybe smash. Yeah. I'll blame, uh, I'll blame me for talking on that one. Hey? Yep. Just watch that, that surf not stopping. Yeah, let's get the full, full follow through. Yep. Oh, fantastic. There's that volley checklist. Come on. Yeah. Stay ready up there. You right. Yep, come on. Sorry, sorry. Yep. Bit of timing, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Just yeah, look at the look at the positive in that. I think it's 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 uh if you can get me lobbing then that, that's a good thing. If you can get me slice lobbing and you're coming forward, yeah. That's a that's a win, but you gotta you gotta your eyes gotta light up when that ball goes up. Yep. Yep. Come on. Come on. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, easily volleyed, yep. What do you what do you put that down to? Sorry? Decision making. Yeah, and, and how's it going to get better? Yeah, just by get, just by getting into net and, and, and giving yourself more goes. Yep. Come on, pick up. Come on. Yep. Plus you. I thought you were a little crouched in there. Yep. Nice pick up. Was that with the forehand grip? Okay.
Sorry? Sure. Okay. Yep. Good serve. Come on! Yeah, come on, you gotta do better than that. What were you going for there? Touch. Yep. See how. Yeah. Now, what's the concerning part? What's the concerning part for you with me asking what were you trying to do there? I couldn't tell. So even if you miss it, I'm like thinking, I want to see, ah, that's what he was doing. Yeah, make it clear. Yep. Sorry, sorry. Last three. Yep. That's right. Come on. Sorry. Good volley, good pressure. For you played a nice solid volley and positioned yourself well. Reminded me of that second drill we did. With that forehand volley cross into the backhand, setting up your position. So the toss of the touch low. Flat. Yep. Last one. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Quick drink. When you when you go to serve volley, would you? Is that something in terms of your serving um, patterns or, or plays? That, yep. I'd go wide bottom twice a to get a curve in the back and go bottom round. Okay. Then they have to they might get a bit more angle, but then they have to What be. what about on the ad side too? Add um slider body. Yep, and in terms of coming in. I think if you go wide, you have to get in faster. Yep. Cut off that ankle. Yep. And so in terms of coming in, uh, and let's say you're surveying, would you would you do one a game or not even? Or around one servoli per service game? Or would that be too much or is that is that you do more? No. Yep, and so if I um, feel like my net game isn't strong on that day, I probably not as much. Not as much. So you or just how you're feeling. Yeah. Alright, cool. Yep. Yep. Not on some matches on the grass. Or one in particular, I wasn't so bothered at all. On the grass, yep. Like, yeah. My second round. I was like no net playing that at all. For sure. And that For was sure. based on how I felt. Yep. Okay, so any if you if you think about what we what we've been doing here and um, really particularly over the last three months, 
um, in the lead up to the grass court nationals, spending a lot more time around the net. Um, yeah. And then today, what, what would you what would you take away there in particular, and in particular with the backhand volley? White, just more confident. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Moving forward, approaching. I know I can hit the shots. Yeah. And so you back yourself in yeah. by coming in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And do you feel concerned if the ball goes past you? Mm. So let's say you. Do it quite a lot for me to back off. Yeah. Okay. Love it. If they do it three times in a row. Yep. Yeah. Maybe if I wasn't winning a match as a change up, just to throw them off. Yeah. Yep. It's just having the having the variety, having the options. That day, I decided not to come in. Um, but nothing from the back was working. I might have to. Yep. Just yep. Just having those options, I think, is key. Yeah. I guess it depends on how I feel. Yep. Feeling. And how. Any further clarity on, on on approaching volleys in terms of different heights, you know, and, and things like that. I know I know we spoke about playing on your gut feel, but also also having some guidelines too, and going well that actually feels good, and knowing knowing you might go I'm actually good at this one. Yeah. Or. Fair, very relative. Okay, we're stretching, mate. We're done. Good stuff. Thank you.